Prospect theory is the theory that won the Nobel Prize for Professor Kahneman. What is prospect theory? Well, it addresses uh, a lot of cognitive biases. It actually brings together a lot of the behavioral concepts we've been talking about. Uh, some of the essentials are that people do not always behave rationally. This holds that there are persistent biases motivated by psychological factors that influence people choice, people's choices under conditions of uncertainty. Prospect theory considers preferences um, as a function of what are called decision weights, and it assumes that these weights do not always match uh, with probabilities. That is, investors, for example, tend to um, overweight small probabilities and underweight large probabilities. Investors tend to evaluate prospects uh, or possible outcomes in terms of gains and losses relative to some reference point rather than the final states of wealth. Let's give an example here. Option one, a sure profit or gain of $5,000 or option two, an 80% possibility of gaining $7,000 and a 20% chance of receiving nothing. Which would you choose? Most people we find select the first option which is essentially a sure bet uh, a sure game. Uh, Dr. Kahneman and Amos Tversky found that most people become risk averse when confronted with expectations of a financial gain. Therefore, investors choose option one, which is a sure gain of $5,000, and essentially this appears to be the rational choice if you believe there is a high probability of loss. However, that this is in fact the less attractive selection. If investors selected option two, their overall performance on a cumulative basis would be superior would be a superior choice because there is a greater payoff. So, uh, what are some of the basic assumptions of prospect theory? That evaluation of whether something, uh, some outcome, is a gain or a loss is relative to a neutral reference point. For financial outcomes, this is usually uh, or the usual reference point is the status quo. Where are we starting from? Outcomes better than the reference points are gains. Below the reference point are losses. Um, more assumptions are the principle of diminishing sensitivity applies to both sensory dimensions and the evaluation of changes in wealth. For example, the subjective difference in perceived value gain between $900 and $1,000 is much smaller than the difference between the same gain of $100 but between $100 and $200. And finally, the third principle is loss aversion. That is, losses loom larger than gains. People fear uh, losses far more than they, uh, than they uh, anticipate gains.